Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I thought I'd do just a general update on one of my tanks and to tell a story that I haven't told for quite a while. So stick around for that and we'll be right back. Okay, so what's going on with this tank? If you've watched in the past you may notice that this tank has undergone some significant changes since I've last did any video updates about it and that's primarily because I had something I didn't happen that I didn't talk about and actually made me quite upset for quite a while but I had moved a male pleco and a cave and the cave is still in here back there I'd moved the cave and the male pleco to a separate tank because the female had laid eggs and the male was tending to them and I had cichlids in the tank and I was worried that you know they would get eaten once they hatched or whatever so anyway long story short that happened they hatched out fine everything was go doing well I moved dad back here and then I noticed that he had something all over him that I suspect was epistylus anyway I suspected it was epistylus I wasn't for sure I went through a bunch of different things treating the tank I need to do an up, a video on an epistylus itself so people know what to look for because it can easily be mistaken for ick. But generally the epistylus is in the form of raised spots, more like clusters, and they're sort of irregular in size and they can sometimes be on the eyeball. Anyway, it can often lead to secondary bacterial infections, which is what set in. Uh, once the epistylus started spreading to other fish in the tank. I have a new green severum now, but I used to have two gold severums. One of them's over here doing its thing, and I had separated the two golds because they both used to be in this tank together, and thankfully I did separate them because I wouldn't have two right now, I'd or one right now, I'd have none um, because the bacterial and I later did move them to a quarantine tank to treat them better but it wiped out my gold severum my th three electric blue acara I took out the female bristle nose pleco it took out a festivum and the only survivor is the male pleco who's almost always in the shadow underneath that log I can see him, but I doubt the camera is going to focus enough. He's right in there. Anyway, and also something happened in the tank where the babies were, and they were wiped out as well. So the bristle nose pleco fry were all gone as well. So anyway, above my 75 with my gold severum, I used to have my uh, geophagus tapahos up there in that 33 long. So I moved them down here and they've been much happier in this tank with the extra room. Um, their dynamics are better, they're not bickering as much. They do bicker, but that's sort of their little order they got going on. This is my the biggest one, uh, the tank boss at the moment, although the green severum is definitely sort of rising up through the ranks, so to speak. And I also have three or four of these bandit banded cichlids or bandit cichlids and they're pretty cool as well and I added a school of giant giant Daniels because I love their energy and just the sheer fun of them they're just a great schooling fish um, definitely an underrated fish I think they look cool with the blue striping they're mostly there just to add a lot of activity to the tank which they most certainly certainly do and this angel was in my 29 uh, with another angel then they weren't getting along so he this angel just kind of got dumped in here but it gets along with all these other fish and so the jive in this tank has been doing well so anyway I've been sort of hesitant to talk about what happened in this tank and uh, so it's good to finally just tell the story it was a sad story it was frustrating it was demoralizing and it kind of led me not to do videos for a while too because I was just sort of sour but anyway the tank is doing great now the sump is also doing good you can check out some videos I'll link up above uh, 
for for the sump videos that I've done, both how I did it in the beginning and then an update on it now with the refugium and some of the extra things that I did. But the tank itself is doing well and I hope you're doing well. I hope your tanks are doing well and we'll see you next time around. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.